Oh, I'm an actual Pokemon professor. Got the little badge here on the shirt, and I can uh, host events and whatnot. I don't know, that's just my, like, specialty that, yeah, I'm a professor. Professor plays! Anyways, uh, this is, we're getting back into our Pokemon Sword play. Um, we just beat Nessa at Hallberry City, and now we're heading back through the Galar Mine number two to go back to, I think it was Motor Spoke City, uh, to beat the Fire Gym Leader Cabal. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. I, uh... End my stream off in here, but I ended up coming over to listen because my friend told me that there is a job service, a Pokemon job there, and I put some Pokemon in there, and apparently they can come back, and I completed the two that I added. So yeah, let's see. Uh, we had Whale Lord Ug Culture, and we had ourselves uh, whatever lasses. So the Pokemon should be coming back now. It's kind of neat. Has a QB uh, look to it, like this one mobile game I seen from the Pokemon games, where it was called. There we go. Happy to see all my Pokemon. We need some nets. Your Pokemon came back from the job. Looks like your Pokemon did an exceptional job. Good stuff, Butterfree. They received XP points for helping out. Good stuff. Ooh, nice. Oh, and Butterfree went up a level. Nice. But they struggled a little. And uh, try sending Pokemon more suited for the job next time. Okay. It seems like Baby has something to give you. And she gave me one loaf of bread. Awesome. I wonder what I can use that for. Maybe some curry? Oh, so we had some uh, normal type Pokemon head out for a trip. They're gonna come back in. There you go, Pidog. Ooh. There you go. That was really exciting. Oh, look, they all have stuff. Your Pokemon came back from the job. Nice. They did an exceptional job and they got lots of XP. Nice. Two of which leveled up. Hey, cool. Messino has something to give you a heal ball. Nice. That's cool. I guess they're really happy. Uh, we have some more options. Let's see, the hard work is really uh, your Pokemon has really impressed your clients, so there'll be more jobs available for you from now on. Keep up the good work. That's cool. So you can send off some Pokemon before, uh, well, maybe as you, you go to sleep or head off to work in real life. Hey, right, uh, let's see. Uh, Psychic Pokemon. This one wants normal type, to which I can send more normal type. Uh, recruiting detail-oriented Pokemon. Okay, let's give them another shot. Uh, we'll send off our big nut. We'll also send off. Uh, who else will we use? Is Diggory also a normal type? I feel like he is, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, yeah, he's normal. There you go. Oh, I accidentally canceled the job. Uh, change selection. There you go. We can fix this. So, big nut. Diggers B. Wooloo. There you go. Actually, you can see the stats on the right now. Uh. Poison Dark type, okay. Mincino, yep, he's gonna go for another round. Mean Kitty's a Steel type, love him. Uh, looks like we don't have anything more normal, I think. No. Hmm. They want a few more Pokemon at least. One more. Cottony, normal fighting. I don't know if like sending a mixed type was a good idea or not. Eh, might as well. We'll send Hoot Hoot. He he'd be really good at. Pointing out details, I think, because uh, his eye is there. He's an owl. I will send him out for 24 hours. Okay, hope you like going to that Pokemon Cube game on the mobiles. I think it was called Pokemon Quest. Alright, we'll forget about the rest of this for now. See you later. Alright, is there any boutiques in this town? I can't remember. I feel like we might have missed a house or two over here, so let's go take a peek over the, these houses there, just so we don't forget about them. Oh, there. I have Champion Leon's card too. Nice. Collectible cards. Speaking of collectible cards, I'd like to show off something there on uh, my little camera. One second there. I'll uh, just stretch the cam. There we go. I think this is should resize. So, a local guy came up to me, um, well, about last week at my league there, and he asked me to go through his collection. See all these? And, and appraise this stuff, okay? This is the, the first page he originally showed me. Look at that. Charizards. Uh, two of them are for base set, one of them's from base set two, and one of them's a reprint for Pokemon Evolution set. And there's just so many good cards in this. It's hard to really show you, but like, give me a second. Take a look at all these amazing cards. I mean, it's really hard to show, but there's just tons of amazing cards in this thing. And there's some base set Blastoises there. Glare is kind of bad there. 
and a whole bunch of EXs, old Ultra Rares, Mewtwo's, just tons of beautiful cards. Yeah, it seems like he and his family are going to be selling the collection, so they want me to go through it. And I'm talking like binders on binders of EXs and stuff, and GXs. Oh yeah. Anyways, I digress. That's going to be something cool. I'll probably be doing like a little live stream for that, just to go through and price the cards. Also to keep like a video footage of the time that this is taking me to do this project. So that way there's kind of like a receipt, a video receipt, if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm gonna resize my picture and get back into it. Sorry for diving into that for too long. Yeah, right there seems to go good. And we'll get back on soon. Okay, we got two or three more hosts to knock on. Knock knock, hello lady. Got any cookies? I remember when Professor Mongolia first presented her findings on Dynamax phenomenon. So the, the whole Galar region was in much of a spin. Yeah, such a spin. Yeah, I imagine, like, Pokemon just get giant all of a sudden. I wonder if a human can get giant, because in some of the lore they say that uh, humans might also be a Pokemon, technically. Not a single bite today. I still need to polish my gear. Yeah. I mean, don't want to get rusty. Rusty tackle's not great. I mean, Pokemon are bound to bite if my gear is nice and shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still. Pass me your fishing gear. I'll go buy. I'll go get some bites for you. And last time over here. Then I think we're pretty much done with this town. Oh, it's two little twins. Hi there. We're taking care of the house while mum and dad are out. Well, you should not open the door for strangers when mum and dad are out. That's all I'm going to say. It's hiding, but my Pokemon is here to help too. Um, this one? Squirrel. And she said the same thing? If any bad guys come in, our Pokemon will protect us. Oh, that's good. I mean, you're, you're such a good fluffy puppy dog. Yes, you are. Yeah, let's get out of here. So like I said, we, uh, we cleared out the city. There was two challengers over on the left side going up this way. But we're just going to avoid them. It's not like we really need to battle them. Local specialty is seafood and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a little market down here. We'd already been in here, kind of. We bought some uh, lucky incense to burn. And yeah, I don't think we need anything else from here. So I guess we'll take out... Wait, down here the docks. Hi oh, there, you fishing? When you see one of those giant Pokemon while fishing in a wild area, it feels like it's either caught or catch or be caught. Yeah, you're right. I would not want to go up against Gyarados on the water. I think it'd sink you easily. A shell bell? Oh, let's see. An item to be held by a Pokemon. The holder restores a little bit of HP every time it inflicts damage on others. Interesting. That seems kind of magical. Got a few little yachts all tied up. Anything hiding down here? Nope. There was a guy just walking here, but he disappeared. As soon as, like, they're off camera, is enough to, like, despawn them, it seems like. Oh, here's, like, one of the the early leaks. There was this, this thing here. I forget what this guy's name. Aw, oh, he's cute. I love him. Hi there. Galar Mine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock-solid Pokemon. Oh. I like the little hopscotch things here. This is cool. This is my favorite Pokeball right here. Let's head off into this cave. Or this tunnel, at least. Ah, it goes straight to a mine, neat, I guess. Yeah. Turtle. Oh, Wimpod! I love Wimpods. I love, uh, uh, Glycopods there, so that's cool. We're gonna catch this. Okay. Uh, we'll do a. Hmm, I guess a thief should be enough to do it. I wonder if it has emergency exit or is that only its evolved form that gets that attack? Yeah, it fled. Dang it. Could just go for straight for a Pokeball. Part of me almost wants to turn this Let's Play into a Nuzlocke run. There you go. But that takes a lot of grinding, too. Whereas I kind of just want to make it somewhat restricted on myself and try to limit my amount of Pokemon I use. Alright. Let's steal from the course fish. I don't think we actually caught this Pokemon yet. Okay, it's gonna use Bubble Beam that has a slight chance to paralyze. I got soap and bubbles in my eyes. Speed fell. Feed from it again. It's gonna use Knock Off. Ooh. I wasn't holding an item this time, I think. One quick attack, and that should be enough to keep it in a capturable state. There you go, good enough. And another bubble beam. Very good. 
corpse dish is kind of nice, actually. I, I like the look of the corpse dish. Oh, no, let's not fight. Let's, uh, let's use a Pokeball. Pokeball, lure ball. No, I'm just gonna go for a straight up for a Pokeball, I think. Besides, it's the best color for corpse dish being white and red, but he does not agree. Taunt. Oh, now you're making me mad now. What's up, this? Wanna go? We fight you. For another quick attack. I don't want to hear him too much there. Just enough to let's get him into a casual state. Okay, another knockoff. We can still survive one more hit. I think we can do one more quick attack and it'll have like a magic pixel help. So just... There we go, that's good enough. Yikes, that did a lot of damage. Okay, now we're good for the hook bomb. Come on, Corpsish! So I used to think, imagine if the sensor on the Pokeball actually has to make contact with the Pokeball skin, so the Pokemon skin, to absorb it, you know? Like, in the anime, can the back side of the ball hit it, or does it, should it be like the contact point, and you just gotta figure out how to hit that throw well, like a bowling ball or something like that, you gotta curve it into the Pokemon a bit. I don't know, just a little thought that, like, how does that work? Or Because I've seen in some of the animes, they just tap the Pokemon with a Pokeball when they agree to be captured. Okay, we got Corpsefish, the ruffian Pokemon. No matter how dirty the water is, it will adapt and thrive. It is, has a strong will to survive. Good stuff. Uh, nah, I, I think I named one before, like De Death Metal or something like that. But we're good for not naming this one. Oh. Okay. You again. You should go to bed. I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in battling against low-level opponents. Wow, you're really mean. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, well, you'd surely be up for a Pokemon battle. Oh yeah, let's go! My guys are weak and I'm still gonna kick your butt. Yeah, you think you're so great, don't you? We're gonna bury you in this mine. Oh, he has four Pokemon. Okay. I think we can do it. Let's get our thief in. There you go. Almost a one-shot. Kinda looks like you've grown a bit, but only a bit, though. Endeavor. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, wow. Okay. Quick attack, finish it off. Super potion. It happened last time, I think, actually, that I got tried to go for the quick attack to finish it off. And, well, that's, we're still faster. The thief should still be able to get the knockout. Well, that was a moot point. Okay. Get a few levels up. Good stuff. Hey, oh, Ponyta, nice. Oh my god, it's so cute looking. That is beautiful. And it's a fairy type, so we ought to retreat though. You know, we'll use Corpse Fish. The reason why I'm switching into Corpse Fish is it's going to be like a meat shield where it's just going to come out, get an attack on it, and block for a turn. So that way it can get a new Pokemon in there without it taking a free hit. I'm using it as a pawn. Okay, and uh, let's see, we have cars. He's dark type, I don't think he's gonna help dark type. Also dark type, wow, we got a lot of dark team there. Let's go cars. I think I almost wanted to rename cars to a K just to make it more of the JoJo reference. Okay, we'll throw some leaves at it. Oh, they miss? And we got confused, oh wow. Or confusion used against us. Okay, let's poke him with the branch, you can't miss this, right? There you go, right in the snow. Another confusion. It has like a 25% chance to confuse the Pokemon, so that's that's gonna be scary business. Okay. Please don't confuse, don't confuse, don't confuse. Maybe it doesn't actually, I'm pretty sure it does have the ability to confuse. There you go. Another knockout. 
Good thing it wasn't a fire type. People were really hoping it would have been like a fire and psychic type. That would have been pretty neat to be honest. But... Gothita. Who uses Gothita? Okay, we are going to poke it in the face of a branch. Add some drumsticks. Side shock. Ooh, that is a nice animation. Again, using a headset to listen to it for the capture card, uh, it's such a fun experience because it's like playing Pokemon for a whole new way for me. I mean, to be fair, this is a Switch. It's a whole new way as is. Hey, Edgar went up a level. Nice. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. Yeah, well... I'm a... I'm a professor! I'm gonna beat you. Now, this thing scares me. The reason being is I read up on the lore that this thing can, is really um, particular about healings, and supposedly you can sense feelings from a good distance away, and it might become angry based off your feelings. And some people were wondering if this was gonna turn into some weird hair dragon thing, but no. Um, it turns into basically a hat hair lady thing. Very feminine looking, I should say. Now every day I get the battle use, so I guess I'm gonna use my try out this move. Okay, what's so special? A side beam. Ooh, we're gonna hold in. Okay, we'll use Razor Leaf there. There you go! What do you guys say now? Step up! Step up with ya! We're gonna have you beat! One more. Yeah, I think I do want that down there. There you go! Cars get some XP. Yeah, time for you to go to bed. You showed at least a little effort, so I guess I should let you in. Man, you cannot. You're such a sore loser. Jeez, get out of my face, you child. Wow. Grow up. Pardon me, it seems like I must take back my word. You're not weak, you're just lacking talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you that at least you tried. Why, thank you. I got... Well, I guess it's a gym card, but a badge card, whatever. But I feel like it's, like, almost like a badge. You know, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna take it and, like, whip it into the pond next to my character. Now, where should we go to collect wishing stars? Why are you so fascinated with these shooting stars? Oh, wind pods, come here. A wild wind pod. Good stuff. Now, should I just try to go for the Pokeball and like And our team's pretty weak, so. Oh, the music stops after. In the old games it used to make a theme song out of it practically. You know, we'll use this great ball. I feel like a great ball is actually not a bad choice, considering what it evolves into. We're not going to try to weaken it. Dang it! Oh, you struggle bug. Which actually is going to knock me out. Nice. Okay, I guess we got one Pokemon left. No, we got Edgar. There you go. He's going to be bulletproof against this thing because it's a bug type and he's flying, so... Good luck with that. Edgar, we're going to try capturing this Pokemon, so try not to pick it off too much. For another Pokeball, and it was really close to getting the capture last time, so we might be lucky with it just now. Nope, not even a chance. A defensive curl. So I'm worried if we attack it there, it's just gonna lose too much HP and get knocked out, or run away. Hmm. What if we taunt it just to bug it a bit? That way it can't use any defensive moves, and we'll get one attack off on it. And we will use Power Trip, which shouldn't be that much. Now, will that activate um, its Wimpout ability? That is yet to be seen. A critical hit for 4 damage, yikes. Okay. I don't want to pluck it, it's going to mess it up too much. We'll see. Yep. Alright, this bug is not going to be able to be captured right now, it's too useless right now, it's too defeated right now. 
Hmm. Could come back later. Oh! Oh! I just fell for that trap! A wild stun fist! Nice! And it's neat to see it out of water. That's kind of weird. Um, I think we'll heal up before we get into this battle quickly. Super potion should be enough. There you go, cars. Should have fixed you up probably before that last or after that last battle. I would, would a good trainer would do. Okay, he's gonna use mud shot, flick some mud at me. On ground, I'm sorry, grass type, so I don't think any ground attacks are really gonna be that effective against me. Uh, let's go for an attack. Uh, I think we'll use some Razor Leaf. It used to be a ground type. Ooh, Sucker Punch. You tricky little bugger. Okay, get a few more of these in. Um, don't think Knockoff's gonna do much to it. It's a little smack there. I feel like it's a bad idea to smack a, you know, a bear trap with some Pokemon. It's weird how its fins kind of like evolved into like a more claw position instead of like actual fins. You know what? We'll poke, we'll, we'll poke the bear trap with a branch. That's that's not that bad, right? It gets us with another sucker punch. Okay, probably gonna need one more at least. He's gonna use a wrench. He's gonna do double damage, I think. Wow, I think I'm almost out of Pokemon. No, we got Edgar. He's at full health. There you go. He's good. Now, if it was an original Sun Fisk, it would have a uh, lightning ability to shock us down. We're going to use a Pokeball, though. We're going to try capturing it. What do we got? Net Ball? No. No. Blur Ball? No. Friend Ball. Shake Pokeball will make it more friendly. You know what? We'll give it a shot. Also, it looks like a good Pokeball color to match the Skunfish. Nope, that did not work. There goes that lucky Pokeball. Uh, so what's the next opportunity? Use a... I guess a regular Pokeball since its beak has been evolved into that color palette. I think we got this one. Yeah, we got this one. Stunfish was caught. Gotcha. Okay, get some XP. And we get ourselves a new Pokedex entry. Okay. Trap Pokemon. This one's a like ground and steel type as opposed to, I think, a ground and electric type. Uh, Galarian form. Living in the mud with, with light iron content has given it a strong steel body. Yeah, that's neat. Hmm, I can't think of a name. I'm really tired after work, so it's like a little... Uh, what can we give this thing as a name? I can't think of any names, but if you guys have any comments down below, like any suggestions, but leave a comment and we'll consider naming it that one. I have a few set up from various other friends and they're like, hey, if this becomes a thing, you should name it this, or you get this Pokemon. That's cool, I'm really happy to get that. Uh, my Pokemon though, holy smokes are weak. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll revive or heal up some of our Pokemon. There you go, and we'll do Swiper too. And I think I'm gonna switch my Pokemon order. You know what, let's check this Pokemon out for a second. Okay, Ground Seal, what kind of attacks do you have? Also Mimicry, changes the Pokemon's type depending on the terrain. Oh, interesting. Huh, not sure I could strategy that right now, but that's definitely an interesting ability. We have Sucker Punch, uh, Metal Sound, which is nothing, Revenge for Fighting, and Mud Shot. Not really the best attacks, but very neat regardless. Uh, I think we'll put Cars in the back in the front of the party, because it's been a while since... Uh, let's see, Swap Pokemon? There you go. Hey, right. hello Jim. How's it going? My Pokemon are bursting of energy. What I meant to say is, battle me please. Yeah, let's go. Hello, Francis. Hey, you got his hard helmet on. That's good. At least there's some, uh, some protection happening in this area. Oh, and we're going to use our cars against it. Rookie gang, rookie gang. 
Okay, uh, knockoff, I think, would be an idea. I don't feel like the grasses are going to be... Oh, wait, no, it is ground-type. That actually could be very useful. Ancient power is going to hit us with some rocks and fossils on it. Nice animation, but we are going to just poke it with a branch, and this should be super effective. Yeah, that took a sizable chunk down, smack down, but we're not a flying type. So it launched a rock at us, and it was flying back high up into the roof, and... Again, get in there and poke it with a branch. Good stuff. Okay, gain some XP points. That's it. That's all. Oh, it's that one. Got two grand. Good stuff. Hey, Dusk Balls. Nice. A somewhat difficult Pokemon that makes it easier to catch Pokemon, sorry, wild Pokemon at night or in dark places such as caves. I like this one a lot, actually. If we see another one of those, um, what is it called? The, uh, sunfishes. No, actually, we, we caught the sunfish. We don't. I see another one up ahead there. What's in the cave? Mudkips? I feel like Mudkips are a whooper. Oh, uh, a Barroach. Barroach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we actually caught this one, so I guess we can go for this one, too. He's thinking about camping. I saw him do a little dance just there. Razorling. This is probably two times effective, and it's just, yeah, straight knockout. My bad. He's gonna try capturing the Pokemon, but no. I will skip this one for now. A little bit of XP. Yes, cars. We'll see about going camping soon, okay? Gonna avoid these Pokemons. Oh, neat. There's a Shelios, I think it's called in the back there. Okay, there you go. Add ah, another chew tool. The cave has a little bit of a discoloration there. It looks a little bit more oranges. Yes, yeah, so you know you want to go camping. There you go. One shot it. Yay, it's sort of up a level, nice. We're gonna sneak past this person a bit. Oh, you know what? I want that. A claw grip. An enemy held by Pokemon extends the duration of multi turn attacks such as Bind and Whip. Oh. We're gonna sneak past that. Oh, oh, that was close. Uh oh. We got some punks in the cave. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. That's gotta be re But that's really something. Love the battle against a great trainer like you. Hop. Oh, would you look at you, Joel? Surrounded by an adoring fans, eh? You even gotta show up pretty like that pretty soon? Oh, yeah. Oi, jog on, mate. We can't see you in the middle of a conversation here. Yeah? And I can't see that I'm Hop. The trainer who's going to be the next champion? Oi! We got a real joker here, eh? You're some funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll, I'll prove it then. I think a battle of you would do a lot fine. And with some laughs. Yeah, let's go some fights. Let's take them on together, eh, Joe? You ready, mate? Yeah. Actually, no, I want to see Hop take on both of them. Come on, Hop, we know you can do it. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. I'll just show you what that means. Okay. Oi, well, you, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge's no joke. You better not be on, Yellow. Yeah. I like to just, like, slur my words with them to speak, make such a high accent with them. What's this other kid have to come waltzing up here for, eh? I just want to knock off this challenge just one at a time. Yeah, I mean, you're being pretty cheap about it, but let's go. Yell. Lagoon, and who else we got here? And his fable, people. Hello, Wulu. It's probably like his main Pokemon at this point. Cars seems a little worried about being able to go camping. Don't worry, Cars. We'll get you camping soon, okay, bud? We're also just gonna poke the thing with a stick. Also, that Lagoon looks nice. I think it's the first time we've seen that art, uh, style element here. Oh, paralyzing a little lick. 
Okay, he's gonna snarl on him. Ooh, he he holds, he holds in with one HP point. Nice. Double kick. One more, one more. Yes. Ooh, I hope you can take the defense for a turn. I'm gonna heal up. There you go, Edgar leveled up as well. And cars, nice. Oh, life here. Nice. I always like this Pokemon. I think it's really cool looking. Okay, we're going to use another heal. Uh, you know what? Do we have a super heal? Yeah, we do. Hmm. What else do we have here? Do we have a max heal or something like that? A full heal? Paralyzed heal. Sweet. I guess we have nothing that doubles up there, so I guess we'll just use the uh, super potion. There we go. Give us all the HP, please. You gonna growl at us? That's cool. We lose attack bell. Nice. That was look cool. Let's double kick it. That animation could be a little bit better, but I guess how do you do that with like a sheep? Little stubby legs. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, hmm. You know what? We're just gonna throw laser leaves. Oh, it hits both. Well, that's obviously the best call. You get two attacks. Up. There you go. It's on us. A night slash. A sneaky little thing. Now, don't be paralyzed. My turn. There you go, that did some damage. We'll get into another one of those. Hopefully the paralyzing won't uh, shut me down. Here he slides. How many times is he gonna hit? Oh, don't let it get knocked out, Ulu. Is he gets knocked out? I don't think Hawk gets another Pokemon. Double kick. That should be gonna get just enough into get into red. And we're gonna finish it off with our Razor Leaf. Oh, no, Cars is paralyzed and unable to move. Ah, oh, yikes. Okay. I guess we'll go for one more potion. That gives us tons of health. Wulu, you're going to have to take the battle for us, okay? We believe in you, Wulu. Oh, it's a million damage. There we go. Put our guard up. Uh, standard tap. There we go, Axis is down a bit. And there goes the knockout on the life here. It'd be kind of, kind of interesting if the next, the, the secondary double hit went to the next Pokemon that came out. A nice little cheap shot as soon as they walk out of the football. Okay. So we're gonna have to use our Paralyzed Heal finally. There we go. Spray some yellow medicine on our, our little twacky. See, but now we're good to go. Except it looks like Blue is gonna save us on this one. Huh. That paralysis really got me stunned there. Does there be any more Pokemon left to battle? Nope. Oh, yes, they do. Oh. Okay, let's see. We'll use Branch Poke, I think, for direct contact. This size of the chunk. And he's gonna use the low sweep. Ah, uh, oh, 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 and he knocks out the Wooloo. No, Wooloo! If anybody hurts Wooloo, I'm gonna end everybody in this room. Oh, he actually actually has a backup Pokemon. Nice, I didn't realize he would. Because in previous games, if the partner had a single Pokemon or a Pokemon, they got knocked out, is what I'm trying to say. is you wouldn't get a no replacement Pokemon, even if they had more Pokemon in the party. There you go, pluck it off. Super effective. Bye bye, Pam Cham. Hit. Looks like Hopside really took uh, took charge on that one and helped us out there. 
Are you gonna yell us because we all lost, eh? If I use a horn where I had a better chance of winning? I ain't got $3,000. Three and a half-ish. A little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll quietly, we'll be quietly once we're beaten. There we go. Give him a kick in the butt. Nice one, Joel. That's my rival for you. Yeah, I mean, I tried, but you really, it was really all up to you. You did the most there. Thank you, Hop. Well then, where could Cabal have gone on to? Yeah, that's right. He's supposed to be in the mine, right? Let's keep going in. Maybe he's a little further in. Yeah. Oh, there's one of those things. I think I'm gonna avoid it. Oh, woo, uh, woo bat. Oh, woo bat. Sorry, I know you were. Found a treasure. A bag of soft sand. Not even be held by a Pokemon. It's loose, silky sand that boosts the ground type moves. Hi there. How can I help you in this cave? Steam power can send any Pokemon flying. Any opponent flying. Okay, Rail Staff Vincent wants to battle. And he's gonna use Dripwood. Sorry, Gilbert. I thought I said Dripwood. We're gonna use cars and we're just gonna hit him with ground attack. Yes, Carlos, I know you want to go camping, but we'll go camping soon. There you go, nice little one shot. Bit of XP around the board. An Onyx, nice. Ooh, that's a big thing. Nice little mohawk on it. Don't worry, we're gonna poke it with our branch. The best move you can do, poke it with a branch. Oh, he has 30. We get smacked around, we hit the ceiling, and we'll just toss a bunch of leaves at it. Come on, razor leaf. There you go, good stuff. And the onyx is fainted. There you go. Bye bye, Vincent. What incredible power. I guess I was the one sent flying. Well, no, you sent my little twacky flying with your onyx, but you know. Oh yeah, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a special move here, let's see. Sand Tomb, nice. Okay. Uh, the user traps the target inside of a harshly raising sandstorm for four to five turns. Oh, that's a Pokeball, that's not, not a Pokeball, it's one of those trap Pokemon. Okay, hello, Hop. Oh, there's a Cobble, nice. Cool, that's nice looking. Thank you for helping you out with my training, Team L. But I must say, it's unforgivable what you get in the way of a car cool hard at work. We weren't getting this way. We we're trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team L to scamper. And give some morale boost somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Go help somewhere else. Hey, sad man. My game's going pretty fine. We're playing ourselves Pokemon Sword. Cheering on is one thing, but I couldn't get in the way of Honest Bird. Yep. Ah, Cap Kabul, man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Yeah, this guy gets really roasty. And you're the trainers endorsed by Leon himself. Hop and Professor Joel, am I right? Yeah, that's me, Professor Joel. And I'm just training it right up here until the last moment so I can guarantee we have the perfect match when I face you two's gym challengers. There you go, hot stuff. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon in Galar Mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Yeah, that'd be pretty tough. Regardless, it's getting late. So just go straight on once you get, sorry. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motor Soak City. Okay, get a good night's rest in the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karkul. Time for us to head out, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Yeah, there you go. This one's a weird one. It has, like, wheels on it, Sandman. I know you like your cars, and then this one has, like, actual physical, biological wheels that doesn't exist in nature. That's impossible in nature to have, almost. Okay, we're gonna be on fire tomorrow. There you go. See, it just rolls away. I remember Leon talking about Kabul. 
He said a lot of gym challengers gave up because they just couldn't beat the heat. Man, I'm getting all fired up too. My friend here, his brother is the champion in the storyline. He's the number one, and we're just two kids making it out for number one's position. We gotta become the best. There you go. That carcoal came uh, from before. I guess it must have been on a job. Yo, the Pokemon jobs now, right? Yeah, I do actually. I just, I kind of found out, but we'll pretend we don't. Yeah, there's no hoping in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Excuse you? Professor, you? Uh uh. I'm Professor, okay. Let's see if I can remember what uh, Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help other companies or other folk who are in need of, some trust, need of something. You can take Poke Jobs from the Rotom stations at any Pokemon Center and give them something to do. Now, I, I'm sorry, I'm Cream Cracked, and I'm for the Blue, uh, blue sorry. Do, messing that up. Bud drew in, drop in, and get some sleep. Uh, come tomorrow, that Fire Gym Willie Cabo will be ready for us, and we'll be ready for him. Coming for him. Good stuff. Oh, wow, a lot of Pokemon just popped up here. Oh, I see a Ghastly, uh, a Weezing, sorry. And look at all these Noctels. Holy smoke, there's so many of them. Let's try to capture this Pokemon. Okay, it appears to be normal when it's uh, just a coughing. I guess like um, a little Sand Slash, only its evolved form gets the special treatment. Uh, we'll give it a knockoff. Let, get that cigarette out of its mouth. No, smoking's bad. There you go, he's gonna clear out the smoke. Okay. And we'll go for a Razor Leaf, which I hope is not a one-shot. Okay, there's something. Good stuff. And a clear smog. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Getting sleepy. Hmm. We can poke it with the branch, see what that does. I want to get it to red health. No, not quite. Just gonna use some sludge ass. Blech. Gross. Cars, no! Yeah, you take a rest, Cars. We'll, we'll get the next Pokemon in here to help finish this off. Um, you know what? We'll use Swiper, I think. Okay. And you know what? I think we'll just go for a Pokeball now at this point. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I like the heal ball on it. I'd like to use the heal ball. Tell you what, I'll use a normal Pokeball, and if that does not work, we'll use the heal ball. So I feel like there's like this weird kind of 50-50 chance it works. And I'm just anticipating the first one's going to be a fail. And I was right. And it hit us with a sludge bomb. Take it out about 25%, and we're poisoned. Yikes. Also, if you notice here, um, the poison logo flashing on my swiper's name here, uh, it has like a circle of three little dots in it, and it's the same kind of logo on coughing down there. It looks like they based their poison logo off the symbol that naturally occurs on a coughing. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so I know it turns into a fairy type later on, so let's try to use a heal ball. It'd be nice to use this nice cute pink Pokeball to capture it. Come on. Please, 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 please. Ah, no. Oh, well. Take another hit and a bit more poison. Ooh, that poison was pretty pretty strong. Okay, what else we got for cool looking Pokeballs? Um, Netball wouldn't really work well. Lure Ball would not. And you know what? I'll try using a Great Ball. I think that's the next best option since it has like a red and blue. And it's purple and red, so it kind of works. Plus, it has those um, pads on the top, which makes me think of the mustaches on the old... Yeah, and we got it! On the, uh, Galarian Weezing. There you go, Swiper. Thanks for holding the fourth there, Swiper. Let's see. Coffee Zeta's add to the Pokedex. The poisonous gas Pokemon. Its body is full of poisonous gases. It floats into garbage dumps, seeking out the fumes of raw, rotting trash. There you go. Let's give it a little picture of that. Um, what should we call it? I think we'll call it, just for the heck of it, uh, Miller. 
There you go. Miller's been added to the party. At least I hope that was an amp. Mail. Oh, hello again. Or hello, trainer. A young Pokemon trainer. Won't you honor me with battle? Why, yes, ma'am. Allow me. There you go. You're challenged by Madame Caroline. Hello, lady. A yamper. A little quirky. I'm gonna use a nice uh, fox. It's fox and the Hound 2019 remake there. And it doesn't end that good for the Hound. The fox is gonna beat him up. We're gonna use beat up. He's gonna hit six times for about 10% of its health every time. So we'll get it down to about 10% health remaining. Oh, only five times. I guess I'm missing one. Okay, we take some damage from the spark and the poison tick. It's getting close. Oh, and it takes the knockout. Come back, you swiper. We're gonna use Edgar on this one, but even though he's a flying type, which is kind of dangerous in retrospect, I think he can take it. Okay. Uh, let's go for. Ooh, that's not really good. Uh, Plucky seems to use more useful attack. We're in the home claws and hope we don't get shocked out of the sky. There you go. Special attack and attack roll us up. At least one of those two. Attack rows. We can use Roar, which is a status move, but not enough to... Oh, it actually switched us out. Oh, we got our new Pokemon. We just caught Miller. Ooh, Haze, Ice type. Sludge. Yeah, there you go. Let's throw some sludge at it. Akaluki. And it works. Super effective. Not super effective, but it's not rock at least. Okay, and it looks like Sunfish is going to go up a level. Because we need to find a nickname for him. Uh... If anybody can think of a, tra a name for a Pokemon that's literally a living bear trap, let me know. Okay. What else do you have here? Ah, Swoobat. Well, let's, let's, let's shoot it down in the sky with a nice Lugie. Ooh, that's one shot. Alright, so it is a Psychic type. I believe my Dark type attacks on Edgar should be able to do something. And I don't know if that still gives us the power up. So we'll see if that still works. Okay. Oh, let's see. Info on Edgar. Oh, I think our special thing went down a level. Oh well. We'll hone edge again. Sharpen up that blade. Oh, air cutter first. It's gonna cut us with some air. Nice. And now we're gonna scratch up those paws. There we go. Attack Rose and our Accuracy Rose. Well, let's go in for the power trip. Oh. Let my guard open. I'm getting hit for the air attack. Let's go. Let's tackle it. That's a sizable amount of damage. I think the air cutter has a priority on us, though, so it's going to get us one more time. We should be able to take the knockout. Okay. Power trip. And there you go. Down it goes. There you go, Caroline has been defeated. Oh, it seems you're already quite used to po uh, po sorry, used to Pokemon battles. Yes, we are. Wow, dang, she's rich. We just got nine thousand six hundred dollars off her. Why, thank you. Dang, she's rich. We also have a sock up there, but I feel like we're just gonna try to get her to the next city. Hello, police officer. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Oi! How's it going, police officer? Hello, hello. What's this then? Fancy a scrap of a copper? No, assaulting the police is a serious offense. Okay, Officer Raymond wants to fight. This is police brutality. I did not agree to this, sir. I'm merely defending myself. I'm flabbergasted. Intimidate, there goes our attack, but we can boost that up one. If we don't get shot down from a heat wave or something. Or direct hit with a fireball. Fire blast of sorts. Okay, there you go, we rose. Flame wheel. 
Exactly the same. We got hit with fire. Oh, and we survived, but I don't know. We're gonna do a power trip. Hopefully this does a little bit of damage. Oh, barely half health, and that was a critical on that too. But he's just gonna stare at us. Nice. He's too happy puppy dude. That's not gonna do much to us though. Okay, so we're gonna go for a flock. I feel like that'll do a bit enough, enough damage to take the knockout. Okay, so we just beat a police officer's canine. I'm not sure what kind of offense that is for assaulting a canine officer, but I think that is something. Okay. Oh, uh, we're also gonna get option to get a scary face. I don't think we need a scary face. Use your frightens target and uh, lowers their speed stat. Yeah, no, nah, I think we'll just keep taunt. That way they will force them to attack and mess up their setup, so. And we defeated the police officer. Oh, I missed that little text there, but yeah. Got $5,000 there. That's for your police battalion, now we're gonna kick your butt. Also, it looks like he has more Pokeballs here, like he has like four. Maybe six on them, I can't, yeah, it looks like six Pokeballs on his heads. Where's your other Pokemon, mate? You should have no problems traveling alone. I've seen enough to know you can't handle yourself. Well, thank you, officer. I don't, like, there's other people out here. Just try to protect them, okay? Jesus. Okay, hey, let's go back to Motostoke City. Also, more feathers are on the thing. We got a fast feather. A swift one. Okay. Got another feather here. A genius feather. Interesting. I already got that one. I think it uh, is more of a health thing. Seems to be a lot of feathers on these uh, bridges here. Another fast feather. Hello. My Corp Knight got all rested up and is ready to head off on its next pokey job. Cool. Pokeballs. Great Pokeballs. Also, here's the Pokeball guy. You can give me another thing. I'll be rolling around stadiums from here and there. So come to this. Don't be shy. Come and say hi. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, so I know the Pokemon Center is off to the left. Hotel. You know, I think if we went to the hotel, actually, it'd probably check us in there and we would heal up, so let's just go there. Oh. There's that girl again. I forget her name. She has a lot of followers. Marnie, okay. Uh, Professor Joel, was it? Yo, giving it all? Even this late, eh? Yep. Hey. Put with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Uh, alright. Wicked. Oh, hello! This guy just came out of nowhere. Wicked. Got some fighting you, huh? Okay, my Pokemon are weak, so this could be a nice challenge. We're, uh, I think this is my first battle of her, actually. So I wonder what her signature Pokemon is. I feel like a more Peko. Krogon? Nice, I love Krogons. And they're evolved for them. Talks of, uh, Toxicroaks. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way. I'm gonna. Okay, so my Pokemon are extremely out of HP right now. Let's take a look at the party. Oh, I got two that are still good. Cars is fainted. I don't use these guys, though, so that's, that's... Yikes. Um... I... Yeah, okay, let's just give it a shot there. Uh, we'll pluck it. There we go, one shot. Also, I know this Pokemon is known to have some kind of like, poison Pokemon are known to have a poison reactive thing where if you touch them, you can become poison, so I was a little worried about that. Okay. Orteco? Her signature Pokemon is a lightning, I think, normal type, but if it becomes hungry and doesn't eat anything, it becomes a dark type as well. We'll try plucking it and hopefully we don't get shocked out. Oh, quick attack gets the knockout, yikes. Come back, Edgar. Oh! It's now hungry. Ah, uh, what do we got here? We got ourselves stuff that's not really worth attacking with. You know what? We'll give this one a, a, a chance there. Let's we'll see if we can't beat it with our off brand Pokemon here. Corpse Fish! Let's go make this a mosh pit of corpses and things. We'll use a knockoff. And just needs Thunder Shock, which is gonna hurt. Super effective. Okay. Oh, it 
turn back into a hacking mode. Oh, uh, you just keep flip flopping back and forth like that? Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna revive one of my Pokemon because these aren't the guys I normally fight with. Swiper is one of my mains. There you go. Morpeko is gonna proceed to just thunder shock this thing into oblivion. He corpse my corpse fish. Good stuff. We'll get him all healed up and back in battling conditions later on. And look, he's angry again. Uh, you know what? Sunfish. Uh, Mudshot. I don't think it does any damage, actually. Uh, check Pokemon. Oh, hold on. Oh, it does actually do some damage. Okay, I was bad. I, uh, I thought that was only like an accuracy being like sand attack. So I guess we'll use the sunfish. The metal stunfish. Claptrap. Claptrap? I feel like that would be a fun name for this Pokemon. I still need to find a name for this Pokemon. Regardless, we're gonna use Mudshot. Oh, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? Oh, she's a naughty girl. She wants to bite. And, oh, we got flinched. That's like a 10% chance of that happening, so I'm just gonna try to hit it with some uh, mud shot. Man, that thing switches its typing every couple seconds. Though. And that's enough to be a direct hit with damage. There you go, now it's angry again. So how do you think you can keep it in just one pose or the other? Do you just like feed it a berry, and as long as it had one in the battle, it'll stay just a monotype, not keep switching back and forth? Regardless, we'll hit it a few more times with some mud. He's gonna become happy now, because we hit it with mud. This Pokemon's very bipolar. Like, okay, we're gonna fight the metal the metal bear trap, that seems like a great idea. And we're just gonna mudshot it just for the finish. Okay. And it fainted. Okay. Think she has one more Pokemon? It's no fun if it just ends just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. Ah, Scraggy, let's go. Perfect. That's an awesome Pokemon for her. Uh, you know what? For Scraggy, I think we're going to use a Sucker Punch. Okay, let's get the first hit in. There we go. Takes a few damage. Oh, low kick. Okay, uh, we will use Revenge. No, that's not, that's not going to work. That's only on next turn. Okay, there we go. Sunfish got knocked out and it's unable to battle. Okay, we're down to Swiper. Do you think Swiper can actually beat it? Let's see, level 25? I don't know. I feel like this might be a really close battle there. Ooh, and it's level 24. Okay, I guess we'll keep and hope for the best. Because it low kicks us into oblivion. Oh, that did no damage. Wow, that is super effective. Okay, we only have one option left, and it's our last option to do, so we are going to revive our main focus, our cars. Our ace in the hole. Come on, my sneaky fox, we're gonna buy ourselves a turn. You kicked him in my shin, you kicked my dog. Why you kicked my dog? I have it on Twitter for you, you come to my yard and you kicked my dog. That's an old meme from like 2005 or something like that. Hit cars. Uh, let's poke him with the branch, cars. I think that's what we gotta do, is poke him. Okay, and it's gonna use the headbutt. And we are gonna use poke branch one more time. Okay, and another headbutt. Just like, all of getting really close, he's just like headbutting, we're like grappling each other, he's just headbutting. I'm just banging him over the head with a stick. Oh, I can't run for that. You know what, we're going to knock him off and knock him out. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, this might be a... We survived! Hit him with the wrench, hit him with the wrench, hit him with the wrench! Ah, oh, yes, we're gonna hit him with the wrench! There he goes, Scraggy fainted. That was too close. We're down to our last, like, 6 HP of all of our Pokemon. You beat me. I guess it must not be too bad after all, huh? Yep. 
and he has 6,000. Nice stuff. That was really close. I did not think we were going to actually get past that. I guess that it's better to go to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. Dang, that was close. That was really, really close. Okay. I think that's a good point to break it off here is we'll, uh, we'll break it off here and we'll get to... Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll see what she has to say here. Next morning. Come down. She's waiting in the office. Good morning. You act like we just didn't have a fight last night, Missy. Alright, let's see. That friend of yours already went off to the challenge of the gym. Cabal's the leader and I suppose to, uh, to help against him. But I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chafed. It's not a big deal. Kabul's lead card. Give me your lead card. I feel like you're a celebrity. You a streamer? You a music fan? I feel like you're a music performer, aren't you? Okay, you got Kabul's lead card. You put the lead card in your album. Take this too. A little something for yesterday's battle. Two burn heals. Okay, well, thank you. I guess this can be put to use. Thank you, Kenley. Bet you'll have no trouble beating the Man of Fire, Kabul. Right. Why don't you get over to Motosoak Stadium and get that badge already? I think that'll be the next episode, though. Hurrah. Well, thanks for watching my Northern Pokemon videos. Oh, I can't ride my bicycle right now. What am I doing here? Actually, I want to check out those lead cards. That's mine. My bad. Oh, this is going to be connected to the I don't want to connect. Uh, it's taking so long. Why am I doing this? Everything's messed up. Stop. Stop. Okay, there you go. Wow. Look at everybody else's writing and how, like, thick and markery it is. Pop doesn't have his. His brother does. And Cabal just, like, barely pencil scratched onto there. Hmm. Very neat. Okay, so that's how far we got in our journey. Alright, I'll sign off here. That was a good uh, thing. We went for ourselves to Galar Cave number two, and we met Kabul, and we battled Marini and her uh, Morpeko and her various other Pokemon. And next episode, we'll be on our way to battle the Fire Gym Leader. Thanks for watching the videos, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Can't wait for that next gym battle. That's going to be really good.